Hey guys, and welcome back to the Greatest Nerd YouTube channel for another interview. I'm Connor, and joining me today is Leisha Mayboom to chat all about her role as Abby in Season 2 of Lock and Key on Netflix. If you enjoyed this interview or others on the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. So welcome, Leisha, and thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, for sure. And as we were kind of saying uh, privately before we did the recording, you, you just joined, oh, you're in season two of Lock and Key as Abby. But before we kind of get into that, I was wondering, like, what inspired you to start acting and, like, why did you decide to pursue it professionally? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I come from a really big family. Uh, everyone's involved in the arts and film. And I've always loved performing since I was a little kid, especially mm. being a middle child. I was always like <laughs> clamoring mm. for that, I guess, attention <laughs> <laughs> or the spotlight. Mm. Um, but I, I've always loved it. I did theater as a kid and I just always loved like getting dressed up and, and, and playing and using my imagination. Mm. Yeah. For sure. And uh, obviously with something like Lock and Key, like, were you a fan of the show beforehand? And obviously these kind of like shows where it's kind of very, very reliant on like uh, plot twists and that kind of secrecy around it. Were you given like dummy size? Did you know who you were playing when you were going in for auditions? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I knew who I was um, going out for and I knew right. she was a new character. Um, I actually mm. did watch the show prior to um, auditioning for it. Cool. Um, but so it was really exciting to know that they were adding a new Savini member. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And I suppose, obviously, you kind of just alluded to it, but for anyone who hasn't seen season two, like, how would you set up Abby and her role in the story? Um, so she's a new kid in town um, who's, uh, she originally becomes Scott's kind of, like, right-hand man. Um, they become really close to the summer, and she starts making these films with the Savini squad, and she does, like, the sound and the music to their films. And sure. so she ends up becoming like um, a close confidant for, for Scott and for Kinsey. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. And as again, as I, was, as I was mentioning to you uh, before we did the recording, uh, Jesse Camacho, who plays another uh, Sweeney Squad member, Doug, is a friend of yours in real life. I've chatted to him twice about the show. And I suppose, I, you know, kind of a twofold thing, like joining one, like an established cast and also two, this like huge, you know, popular worldwide show, like how helpful was having a familiar face in the crowd for you? Like many Oh, actually, Jesse and I met. Oh, no, we did meet before. I met some of the cast before we actually got to set. So oh, okay. that was, um, we all hung, hung out and said, said hello and grabbed a pint. It was it was nice, mm. but it was we're all relatively the same age. So right, it, sure. it, it's nice to like hang out with like um, you know people you can get along with really well and and jesse um i mean from day one was always like come come hang out with us like mm. he really took me under his wing i mean for sure uh, absolutely i mean by any chance obviously i imagine it's more like a canadian institution as opposed to like in other places but would you have known him from less than kind and that kind of thing that was that yeah i actually did know him from less than kind yeah jesse jesse's kind of like a canadian legend mm. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. And obviously, I suppose, like with something like Netflix releasing Lock and Key, like all of season two came out at once on October 22nd. So I suppose, is that more exciting or nerve wracking for you to kind of have it all just there, like all, all in one go? Yeah. I mean, I think it was nerve wracking just um, no matter how they were going to like air it out um, mm. because it's one of my first big shows. Yeah. So, either way, I was like, sweating buckets and, and really anxious to see how people were going to receive Abby. Mm. Yeah and actually personally speaking I'm not an actor myself but I've kind of always enjoyed hearing about like the process of how like you guys kind of come to play certain scenes or like justify the way you approach your characters. Obviously you mentioned the fact that Abby kind of comes in uh, being close to Scott and I was wondering then for you and uh, Patrice Jones did you have any kind of discussions about how you would kind of play that dynamic or like how was your experience of working with Patrice um yeah I guess we never really talked about it but Patrice is like a very very lovely person and mm. again we were all like friends so um oh. we naturally kind of just got to fall into um being similar like our characters I guess mm. 
Absolutely. And obviously, you know, it's very well known acting is a very competitive industry to get into. Obviously, I imagine a lot more uh, failures and successes without being too um, cynical about it. But I suppose like for you personally, like what does this, like, what does landing this role, I guess, like mean for your career? Like was it a huge milestone moment, right, to get this part? Yeah, it is a huge milestone. Um, and yeah, I don't really know where it's going to take me, um, mm. but it, I'm I'm really proud of myself for uh, achieving something like this. I mean, who who wouldn't want to be on like Netflix is like one of the top ten shows <laughs> watched mm. like around the world. <laughs> you know, it's pretty insane if you think Absolutely. about it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, this is one thing I actually uh, don't know offhand, but I mean, I mean, it's filmed in Canada, right? So, like, were you? At all, like, yeah. I mean, obviously Canada's a big country, but were you local to where they shoot it or yeah. was it on, on the other side of the country? Oh, or... uh, no, dude, it was like an hour away from me. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> it was like, amazing. Cool. I was like, sweet. Like, I'll just go to the studio. It's like um, just kind of the uh, other end of town. So it's pretty simple. Yeah. Shoot locally, mm. yeah. Yeah, and obviously, like, sorry to break the illusion for anyone listening who might kind of not know that I, a lot of the actors are Canadians playing American, right? Obviously, the fact that it's American town but obviously I mean I think most notably Connor Jessup right he, he's Canadian right mm -hmm, yeah he also lives um in Toronto I believe too yeah yeah obviously uh, he Connor Jessup plays Tyler just again for anyone who might not be aware of that um I suppose so for you personally like looking ahead in the coming months into 2022 what do you hope to accomplish or achieve oh um I don't really know I, I'd love to do some traveling mm. um maybe do some other artistic endeavors, but uh, I'm just, I think working on my, myself and just, I don't know, just mm. living my best life. Yeah. <laughs> that was such a bad answer. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think after 2020, I think that everyone deserves to live their best life in some way. Yeah, right? I mean, everything's so unpredictable. I mean, as, as we know and have experienced the last couple of years. So I think it's hard, um, it's hard to look too, much ahead um mm. to rather kind of just be present within the opportunities that I have now and today so yeah I actually I kind of missed this angle to the question that I asked earlier but obviously when you're joining a show like this where it is kind of very like plot based like secrecy based uh, are you privy to uh information your character wouldn't know or, or, or do they kind of keep it under wraps so like you know um it depends um right. but most time I was finding out like as I was reading the script oh, okay and yeah, so that was kind of cool too because you'd be like wait what like this is crazy this is yeah 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 I think yeah because yeah, uh obviously when I spoke to uh, to Jesse uh, ahead of season two he was kind of talking about again you know like spoiler alert anyone who hasn't seen uh, season one but that big twist involving Griffin Gluck and his character and apparently basically almost everyone knew but like no one really knew who else knew and it was kind of like a you know balancing act of like trying to keep that a secret but obviously yeah. it ended up playing out really well yeah and it, it's kind of fun too because like we all get to like bring snippets of information to each other and then mm. we create our own um I think this is gonna happen or I think that's gonna happen kind of yeah know. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, I'm not asking you to like reveal anything that you might not be allowed to or not supposed to. But like, do you have any hopes of coming back for season three? I mean, I think it's already wrapped filming, hasn't it? Season three. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. been wrapped. I think in August. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think I can say. I think I can say that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I will keep that an open ended. <laughs> right. <laughs> dot 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 dot. I'm not really sure if I can say or not. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, season three is on its way. Mm. Stay tuned. <laughs> right. And I suppose aside from Lock and Key, actually, I have an ask like, if any other upcoming projects you might want to talk about or, yeah. Um, there's nothing I, I can be able to say. Um, I say stay tuned for that one. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, I guess obviously just to wrap this up, I guess I'll say best of luck with um, whatever might be in the future with Lock and Key, with uh, other projects might come up but I mean all the best and take care and stay safe oh thank you so much <laughs>